Hello everyone, this is part 3 of instrument series where we'll discuss about some other instrument that are being used in obstetric and gynecological procedure. And the part 1 and 2 link was given in description box below. And in this lecture, we'll discuss about some other instrument like Valsalum, Ellis tissue forcep, Babcock and the disposal umbilical cord clamp. So first we'll see about this Valsalum. Here you can see in this valsalum there is lock, ratchet lock is present and the blade of this instrument is curved at an angle. So these are curved and creating gap between these blades. So there is some gap or a space between two blades and on tip of this blade there are multiple teeth to hold the tough tissues. So Mainly this instrument is being used for holding the anterior lip of cervix but keeping in mind that it should not be used while the woman is pregnant. So it is mainly used in non-pregnant cervix because during pregnancy the cervix is extremely soft and if we hold by this traumatic force then it may bleed heavily. So to avoid that we must uh, use in non-pregnant uterus. Sometimes this instrument is being used to lift up the posterior lip of cervix as well. Because if we want to perform caldocentesis, where we want to access the posterior fornus uh, to collect the fluid and the blood which is being accumulated in the pouch of Douglas. So in these procedures, we need to lift up the posterior lip of cervix. So in such condition also we can use this instrument. But as I mentioned previously also, we should never ever be use this uh, instrument in pregnant state as it cause heavy bleeding because it is more traumatic in nature uh, with these multiple teeth. So instead of using this valsalum, even we can use the other instrument that is Ellie's tissue forcep. So here you can see in this also lock is present, ratchet lock is there, the blades are straight and there is gap it in between the blades and uh, on tip of these blade there are again multiple teeth are present okay so this instrument is also being used to hold the tough tissues so even we can hold the anterior lip of cervix by using this instrument or even we can hold the tough tissues like peritoneum rectus sheet and vaginal mucosa uh, and even while we are performing cesarean section uh, we need to suture up these or incision. So to, to suture up these incision, we need to hold the tissues. So to holding these tissue, we can use this instrument. And in episiotomy repair as well, where we give incision on perineum uh, while we are delivering the fetus. So after delivering of fetus and placenta, when we suture the episiotomy, then also we need to hold the tissues. And for that, we can use this instrument. Either we can use an MTP procedure as well when we want to uh, medically terminate the pregnancy. Uh, in surgical method when we are performing uh, the dilatation and evacuation, suction evacuation or dilatation curettage procedure where we need to hold the anterior lip of cervix, we can use this instrument. So these are the various indication where, uh, where we can use this instrument that is Ellie's tissue force. And the next one is the Babcock. So here you can see in this also there is lock, ratchet lock is present and the blades are very specially designed at the tip. Their triangular shaped fenestrations are present. They are circumscribed on top of it and some transverse serrations are also present on this tip. So this instrument mainly used to hold the tubular structure because these fenestrations allows the tissues to bulge out through this like this because uh, these this instrument doesn't crushes the tissues this hold the tissues tubular structure like this okay so like in tuboplasty where we need to repair fallopian tube uh, to check its patency where we need to hold the fallopian tube we can use this babcock or sometimes we perform radial hysterectomy where we uh, remove uterus and the part of reproductive organ there we need to hold the lymph node so to holding the lymph node this is the uh, prime important instrument and 
even we can hold appendix and the ureter by this instrument so this instrument is mainly used to hold the tubular structure because it allow the tubular structure to lie within this circumscribed tip because it doesn't crushes these tissues okay so this is the babcock and the last one is the umbilical cord clamp this is disposable one uh, it's plastic and uh, we are using this to clamp the cord okay so from 3 to 4 cm from the fetal umbilicus we use this uh, disposal clamp to clamp the cord so when we need to clamp once the fetus comes out and uh, it is it gets separated from the placenta the open end of cord from the fetal side need to be clamped by this disposal one so here in this lecture we have discussed with the valsalum alice tissue forcep and the babcock and the disposal umbilical cord and in next fourth part we'll discuss about some other instruments that are being used in obstetrics and gynecological procedure thank you